How you doing, fight fans? This is EJ Boxing Live here. Um, so we're going to discuss the fight happening over here in the UK, London and England. I thought I might as well do it because, you know, it's in Sheffield. It's um, Even though I'm in London, it's still, it's still in the UK. So um, Jojo Dan um, going against the IBF World's Week champion, Kel, the special one, Brooke. Um, so this fight should be very interesting. Um, Kel... Let's talk about so we talk let's talk about Jojo Dan first. Jojo Dan's 33 years old and his record is um he's won 34 fights, has 18 knockouts and lost twice. And the guy he's lost twice, but he's basically lost to the same guy. Um so called Aiden. Um he lost both of them on by points. Um in you know, that decision and um but he's worked his way worked his way up. Um and to get a shot at Kel. And to me, he looks like a very solid opponent, but it seems to me every time he's stepped up, he loses. Um, the only notable opponent I know on his record, if I'm looking at his record in front of me, um, the guy I already know is Steve Forbes. Steve Forbes is not really a world away. Um, Steve Forbes really and truly, won, he's, he's a former world champion, but he won the belt at featherweight. So I don't know how much test he, he would have posed. Um, Rather than this, probably just a workout for for Jojo Dan. So Jojo Dan's from Romania. His first stands at five foot nine and a half. Um, but for me, I think Kel. This is this is this is a showcase for Kel um, coming back to you know winning the world title over there in California, Castle California, beating Sean Porter. And um, for me, Kel. This is this is a this is Kel showcase. Kel should really look good in this fight. But this is a very strong opponent. And um, so talking about Kel, Kel has an injury. Um, someone tried to attack him when he was on holiday. So we don't know what kind of Kel's turning up, man. I mean, we hope it's going to be the Kel who fought Sean Porter, but we don't really know. I mean, like he got stabbed in his leg. I'm sure his hands will be all right. Don't know who got stabbed in the leg. You don't know how much ligaments that are done. It should be all right. But... I don't know, man. If he doesn't be on his P's and Q, this is a very solid guy that, to be honest with you, he's never been knocked out. He's just lost on points. So, Kel needs to be on his game. I don't know if Kel could stop him. It would be quite good if Kel could stop him because he's a solid opponent. But um, I'm going to go with Kel um, on points. I don't think Kel could stop him. But if he does, I'll be surprised. And uh, hopefully, I think I nervous Kel for like the first three rounds. Kel just, you know what I mean? Just get himself back into it and stuff like that, you know. After what's happened to him as well, but oh, Kel understands that if he gets through this fight, he's got a lot of big things waiting up. Maybe and Pacquiao fighting on May the second, so you know the possibility he could win the fight at one end. Then you got Keith Thurman fight, you got a Marquez fight. There's a lot of big fights for Kel um, out there that he could fight and get a lot of money. Uh, maybe a rematch with Porter again. Porter's on the comeback, so that's a possibility as well. But I think Kel should win this fight handily. Um, I don't see foresee any problems other than the leg stabbed in his leg, man. So I don't know, man. Like you know, like I said, you don't know what Kel's gonna be turning up. You know, <laughs> you know, this Kel could, you know, like, he could all all unravel, you know, just like that. So you never know, man, because um, boxing's a strange game, and this Dan dude, you know, he's, he just seems like a very solid opponent. Like I said, man, you know, the um, like I said, Stevie Forbes, he's just been. He hasn't really done anything. He just like, I've, he just not really. But like I said, every time he steps up, he hasn't really done it. You know, he hasn't really just. Nah, not for me anyway. Not for me. And done it. Kel should win this fight. If he doesn't win this fight, then it's just it's a shame. But to me, um, Sachenko is better than this dude. So I think he should win this fight. So um, so let's get it on and let's find out, fight fans. Um, so I'm getting Kel. By unanimous decision, I don't think Kel could stop this dude. This dude's solid. Never been stopped before. I don't see if Kel, Kel could stop him. I'd be very impressed. Um, let's talk about if Kel never got stabbed up. I think Kel would I would have said, oh, Kel's going to knock this guy out of the bum. But Blum doesn't does have to be safe now. Kel has to pay it carefully. Just box this dude and, you know, don't don't try and mix it up. Hold him. For, do more or less just do what you do with Porter. And then she come through quite easily. You know, make sure, like, no head clash and stuff like that. But... To me, like, Kel definitely hits harder. So we'll see. But I think Kel should win the fight. So the fight's going to be a couple of hours. So I'm going with Kel Brook. Um, who you got? Let me know. Um, 
leave your comments in the comment section whether you agree or disagree. Um, so I'm EJ Boxing Live, and I'll catch you another one. All right, fight fans. Peace.